Howdy guys, Jimmy Song here. I wanted to talk today about why uh, people create altcoins and ICOs. This is um, this may seem like an obvious answer, but it's actually not. There, there's a lot of layers to this, and I want to start uh, by talking about that phrase, um, you know, making money, right? Like uh, the the clear answer to a lot of these questions about why people create altcoins and ICOs is to make money. But making money. Um, has two connotations. There's one connotation, which is literally, uh, well, first one is working for goods or services, right? This is what I would call earning money. Um, and that is a very fair way to go about the world. If you're earning money, right, instead of like stealing it or something like that, um, that is a very good thing. Uh, you're you're adding um, some talent that you have. You are at, you're giving people goods that they want, you're uh, providing services that people need, this is a very good thing. Um, but on the other hand, there's another way, uh, another form of that word making money, and that is literally printing more money. And it's a little bit subtle, but every time you print money, you are kind of taking from everybody else because you're, you're causing a little bit of inflation. And this is uh, this is what happens with fiat money. Every time they print money, they are sort of, they're, they're stealing wealth away from you. They are uh, decreasing the value of, uh, you know, some amount of money that you might have, uh, as well as everybody else. You are taking from the store value that somebody has and redistributing it to yourself. And when you think about any sort of monetary medium, these are the two ways that you can make money, right? You can either uh, trade your goods and services for you know, already existing stockpiles of that money, or you can you know, work to create more money. Um, and generally, when you have uh, easy money, people go towards the latter. And if you have hard money, people go towards the former. So, um, you know, a lot of people in a hard money environment, they will, uh, you know, try to go and create goods and services because the act of creating more of that money is just so difficult. And that's the situation we have had with gold for a very long time uh, with with. Bitcoin, uh, you know, that, that, that's also been the case. But with something like fiat, a lot of people expend a lot of time and energy trying to create more of it. And in fact, uh, you know, something like 10% of GDP is in banking. Well, what are they doing? Well, they're, they're actually literally printing money. Every time, uh, you know, they have a fractional reserve system, they can, uh, they have the right to lend out money that doesn't exist. And that's essentially printing money. A lot of productive capacity instead goes into printing money, which is not, uh, which is essentially stealing away your purchasing power from uh, your store of value and so on. It, it's essentially stealing from everybody else. It, it doesn't add any productivity to society. Um, so whereas, you know, if you're creating goods and services that people want, you are adding to the productive, uh, uh, you know, part of society. So anyway, back to the question, why do people do altcoins and ICOs? Well, with Bitcoin, it's very, very difficult to create more of the Bitcoin. You have to more or less be a miner. And to do that it, profitably is not that easy. I mean, there are plenty of people and organizations that are getting into it, but it is very, very difficult. It costs a lot of money. It costs a lot of planning, uh, you know, time and planning and, and so on. Um, and, you know, instead you have lots of goods and services that are being, uh, you know, offered for Bitcoin. Um, but the people that want to instead just print more money don't go away. They are doing it via altcoins and ICOs. That's their way of trying to print money. But of course, that has its own cost. You have to do a lot of marketing, convince a lot of people to invest um, and keep that going as long as you can. And that, uh, I'm, I'm sorry to say, is extremely, extremely difficult. So anyway, that, uh, that hopefully will give you an idea of why people do it. Um, and, and hopefully this helps you. This song is done.